So welcome to the concluding uh, videos on solving osmolite questions. Example 9. Calculate the osmolite in milliosmoles per liter of a parenteral solution containing 2 million equivalent per ml of potassium acetate with molecular weight of 98 and 147 ml of a 10 percent weight by volume calcium chloride solution with a molecular weight of 147. So in this in this question we're given two different concentration. Uh, one concentration for potassium acetate was given to us in milli equivalent per ml and the one for calcium chloride was given to us in 147 ml of a 10 percent weight by volume. Step one we need to calculate the milliosmoles per liter of potassium acetate component of the solution First thing we need to do is to find the mass of potassium acetate that will provide the 2 milli equivalent. So we have to use the formula milli equivalent equals mass over molecular weight times valence. So we already know our milli equivalent of potassium acetate is 2. The molecular weight of potassium acetate is 98. The valence of potassium acetate is 2 because uh, potassium is uh, a cation that will produce a plus one, while acetate is an anion that will produce two. So to balance the equation, they will have a valence of two. So our unknown is the mass of the potassium acetate. So how do we find the mass? If we make mass of potassium acetate the subject of formula, we have two milli equivalent times 98, which is the molecular weight, divided by two, which is the valence. We should have 196 milligrams or 0 0.196 grams. Step two is to find the millimoles per liter of potassium acetate using the formula milliosmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times 100. So we already know our mass in grams, which is 0 0.196. Our molecular weight of potassium acetate that was given to us at 98. Number of particles of potassium acetate is 2 because potassium acetate is an electrolyte that will dissociate into potassium and acetate. So if we plug in our numbers correctly into the equation, we should have milliosmoles per liter equals 0 0.196 grams, which is the mass of the potassium acetate, divided by 98, which is the molecular weight, times 2, which is the number of particles times 1,000 will have 4 milliosmoles. It means that a 2 milli equivalent potassium acetate solution will have a 4 milliosmoles per liter. Step 2 is to calculate the milliosmoles per ml of calcium chloride component of the solution by using the formula. So first thing we need to do is to find how many grams of 10% weight by volume of calcium chloride are in 147 ml. So we need to set up a proportion by writing because 10% weight by volume means there are 10 grams in 100 ml. So we set up a proportion by writing 10 grams divided by 100 ml equals x over 147 ml. We should come up with a 14.7 grams. It means 10%, there are 14.7 grams of a 10% weight by volume calcium chloride in 147 ml. Our number two thing to do is to find the millimoles per liters of calcium chloride. Milliosmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. Our mass in grams we already found to be 140, uh, uh, sorry, 14.7 grams. Molecular weight of calcium chloride is 147. The number of particles of calcium chloride solution is 3 because calcium chloride solution will dissociate into calcium, a chloride anion, and water. So giving us 3 particles altogether. So if we plug in our numbers into the equation, we should have milliosmoles per liter equals 14.7 grams, which is the mass of the calcium chloride, divided by 147, which is the molecular weight of the calcium chloride solution, times 3, which is the uh, number of particles of the calcium chloride solution times a thousand equals 300. So it means that 
a 10% weight by volume calcium chloride will produce 300 milli osmos per liter. Step three is to add up all our osmolality of each component to find the total osmolality of the parenteral solution. So the, our total osmolality will be 300, which is the 300 for the potassium acetate, and four, which is for the calcium chloride solution. The total osmolality is 304. Example 10. Example 10 wants us to calculate how many millimoles of are represented in 294 ml of a 20% weight by volume calcium chloride solution, given that the solution has a molecular weight of 147. Step one is to find how many grams of 20% weight by volume calcium chloride are in 294 ml. So we should keep in mind that a 20% weight by volume means that there are 20 grams in 100 ml. So to find how many grams of 20% weight by volume calcium chloride in 294 ml, we're going to set up the proportion by writing 20% weight by volume calcium chloride in 294 ml will be equal to 20 grams divided by 100 ml equals x over 294 ml. If we do our cross multiplication very well, we should arrive at 58.8 grams or 58,800 milligrams. But the question is asking us for millimoles present in the solution. So we have to come up with a uh, formula which says millimoles is mass in milligrams divided by molecular weight. And our mass in grams is 58,800 milligrams, our molecular weight of the calcium chloride is 147. So if we plug in our numbers correctly into the equation, we should have mass in grams, which will be 58,800, and our molecular weight should be 147. We should have 400 milliosmoles.